Hey, what's up guys? Just back with another video. So I was just uh, doing a little bit of research, seeing if there's any updates on some polls. And I've talked a little bit before about, you know, how it's very unlikely that we'll have an election this year. Because the most likely way that we could have one is if, is if the NDP holds a vote of non-confidence and votes with the Conservatives and the Blocs. And the reason that's not going to happen is because Jagmeet Singh was you know, pretty far behind, even with the Liberals in the polls. However, the last few weeks, I did a video last week talking about this, how the NDP was getting a little bit closer to the Liberals. Well, look at this. A poll that was updated this week. The Liberals are down 3.4%, down to 22% support. The NDP up 2.1%, 22, 22% support. Who's to say that the next week or two, Jagmeet Singh doesn't move up to 24, 25%, bringing the Liberals back down to 19 or 20%. Maybe he feels comfortable enough that that's, you know, that's a big enough lead for him that he can go for the vote of non-confidence, that he can at least become, go from being the third uh, level to the second level, being the official opposition, which I think in his mind and a lot of his party supporters' mind would be at least an upgrade. It's not what they want. But it's better being in second is better than being in third, right? Still don't think he's going to call it, but this kind of like gives me a little bit of uh, hope, or maybe it's false hope, but who knows? Uh, it's just I just wanted to make this video just to kind of let you guys know that the NDP is pulling up, and the Liberals are pulling down. Now this isn't the only way. Like let's say Jagmeet Singh gets a, a lead, but he doesn't want to have a vote of non-confidence. You still could have. Justin Trudeau call an election or step down, which I think is there's almost a 0% chance that happens. There's also the Governor General, Mary Simon, who essentially can call it a, an election as well. Now, I don't think she's going to either. However, we do have this whole thing coming up with the Arrive Scan or the Arrive Can or the Arrive Scam Act uh, app, as the conservatives and myself like to call it. So, if, if they do their investigation and find out that, holy smokes, this isn't just $60 million that was spent, it's $80 million, and this was given to these contractors who did no work, and it was taxpayer money, Mary Simon might look at that and say, okay, you know what? There's been so many issues with this guy. Canada is doing horribly right now in terms of the people's personal finances. Then you have the scandals, right? The Emergency Act, the applauding of a friggin' Nazi. And now you have the Arrive Scam, the Arrive Scam app, where he was just stealing money, uh, Canadian taxpayers' money. She might then say, "Okay, enough's enough. I'm calling an election, and Canadians are going to get what they want." That is a possibility. Don't see it happening. I think the best chance is that if liberal supporters, especially like far left wing liberal supporters, start moving their support to the NDP, if the liberals fall. Uh, below 20% and the NDP hits that 25% mark, it's still pretty close, but maybe that's enough for Singh to say, hey, I can get the, the second spot here and we can have an election. And I think that would make Canadians happy. Uh, they're not going to, he's not going to get support from the conservative movement right now because there's just too many people on Pierre Polyev's side. But being the leader of the official opposition and seeing the liberals sitting over in the corner there, which would be wonderful to see. So to be fair, I'm kind of rooting for the NDPs a little bit. Not that I want Jagmeet Singh to be prime minister, but I am rooting for them to overtake the liberals because maybe that's the best chance we have to have an election. So that's why I wanted to report on this. I just wanted to let you guys know that the NDP and liberals are neck and neck right now. And that might just maybe make a difference whether we have an election this spring or next fall. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with another video. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe.